Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, May 26, 2022. Fire potential impacts for the next few days are shown here. We have another very warm day expected across much of the Great Basin with uh, near record highs. Uh, high temperatures reaching around 90 or low 90s in, in some of our northern valleys, including Salt Lake and Boise. Um, we also have some gusty, very gusty conditions over central and western Nevada today and some isolated showers and thunderstorms starting to move into the north. On Friday, a pretty strong low pressure cold front, real pressure system with the cold front will move into the north, uh, but we'll see winds and low humidities continuing across much of central and southern Utah and southern Nevada. And then on Saturday, that low drops further south, uh, bringing the cooler temperatures to the northern two-thirds of the area, but keeping windy and dry conditions across uh, southern Utah. Yesterday was a quiet day weather-wise with warm temperatures. And our fire activity remains uh, fairly steady, but pretty light initial attack with most of the fires popping up in Utah. The last couple of weeks, uh, have been pretty dry. Uh, a couple little pockets out there where some precip has been seen over the last few weeks. The central Idaho mountains, western Wyoming, a little pocket there in central Nevada, and then the higher elevations of Utah have some, seen some precip. But overall, uh, below normal for the last couple of weeks as we head into um, the first of June. ERCs are shown here for a couple of PSAs. You went to Basin here on the north is showing values right at the historical records for the time of year. It's been quite dry, uh, <clears throat> really all uh, for, for quite a while up there. Um, so sitting right near the records, even setting a few records occasionally. And then here in Northwest Nevada, the values are between average and the maximums. So above average for the time of year, but not quite at that historical level. The satellite image for this morning is showing the high pressure in place over the Great Basin, leading to the very warm temperatures that we're going to see today. Um, we also have this low pressure system, large area of low pressure with a few embedded uh, waves here that are going to be impacting our weather for the weekend and really into the first part of next week. Um, quite a dramatic change in the weather is expected coming up. So for today, warm temperatures, uh, dry conditions across Utah and Southern Nevada, uh, we'll see that trough beginning to move into the Pacific Northwest and even bring in a few showers to Idaho and central Nevada today. No high risk issued. The winds shown here on the left, quite breezy in Nevada as that front begins to move into the area there. Um, and then any stronger outflows with any thunderstorms that do pop up as that moisture comes in as well. And the maximum temperatures shown here on the right, very warm today, highs in the low 90s in Salt Lake, around 90 in Boise, uh, triple digits, 105 down there in uh, south of Vegas. So pretty warm day area wide. On Friday, that large area um, of low pressure, that trough continues to move further east, uh, bringing cooler temperatures to the north and, and a, a better chance for precip to Idaho, uh, northern Nevada, and portions of northern Utah. Still stay dry and windy across the south, especially over Utah. Um, no high-risk triggers have been issued. So on Friday, uh, gets quite, quite a bit windier, especially over central and southern Utah and eastern Utah where those gusts are up 35, 40 miles an hour or so. Um, relative humidity is also on the low side, it's starting to come up across the north and Nevada, uh, but still quite low across the south. Then on Saturday, that low continues to drop further south into the Great Basin, bringing cooler temperatures further, further south into the area. Um, we still expect some windy conditions here and there. No high risk issued for Saturday. Those winds here in southern and southeast Utah, prefrontal, still warm and dry out ahead of that front, and then behind the front in western and northern Nevada, where the winds are a little bit more out of the west, and um, that where the air will be cooler with slightly higher relative humidities. Here on the right, we're looking at probability of precipitation, so we expect that low to be bringing a pretty good chance of precip to much of Idaho, western Wyoming, northern Nevada, and northern Utah on Saturday. Three-day precip totals are shown here. So by Saturday, um, pretty good chance of precip across much of the northern third to, to half of the Great Basin. On Sunday, that main center of the low swings into Idaho, uh, further 
bringing cooler temperatures to the area. This is really where we'll see a more dramatic drop in temperatures on Sunday, especially to areas like central and southern Utah and southern Nevada. Temperatures will cool and continued precip chances across the north as well. On Monday, more of the same. That low stays in place for your Memorial Day. Uh, chance for showers and cooler temperatures across the northern two-thirds of the area. Um, Temperature highs are going to drop into the 60s by Monday for many of our valley locations in northern and central portions of the basin. So a pretty cool Memorial Day uh, expected um, out there. And then some breezy conditions still across the far southern tier of the Great Basin. On Tuesday, that low finally looks like it's going to move off, begin to move off to the east, but temperatures will still be fairly cool on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we'll start to return to more normal type conditions with warming temperatures and dry conditions. The seven-day precip totals are shown here. Not bad for the, for, for the last week of May, that's for sure. Um, it's, it's quite rare that we see this much precipitation heading into the end of May and the first of June. Um, so good, good precip amounts, central Idaho mountains, western Wyoming, even many of the higher elevations of Utah, even down into central and, and southern Utah has a chance to see some sprinkles here and there. Uh, unfortunately, Nevada is going to miss out for the most part um, on the precip, but um, we may even see some high elevation snow. We, we certainly will see some high elevation snow with the storm as it's quite cold, especially over Idaho and Wyoming. Then the extended forecast taking us into June 2nd through the 8th, still showing a below normal temperature signal across the northwest and northern Rockies, um, and a, a wetter condition up there as well with the dry forecast expected over Utah and Nevada. That concludes today's uh, fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.